I have a smartphone with LS Posed framework installed on it. And today I'll be showing you how to remove an application update from appearing in the Google Play Store. Something that I've seen requested a lot is a way to prevent an application from automatically being updated by the Google Play Store. Disabling automatic updates is a feature that's built into the Google Play Store application. And we can find that by going to the application page, selecting the three dot menu icon at the top right, and then removing the check mark in the enable automatic update option here. The main downside to this approach is that even with this feature disabled, the application update is still going to be sitting there in the updates page, which can be annoying since tapping on the update all button will bring up a prompt asking you if you want to manually approve the update for that particular application. Many people have a habit of triggering their app updates in this way, and that prompt tends to annoy them. So today I want to show you an LS Posed module that essentially hides an application or game from the Google Play Store, which in turn will prevent that application from even showing up in this update list. We can find and install this module by first opening up the LS Posed Manager application selecting the repository tab at the bottom left, tapping on the search box right there, and then doing a search for app list. This should filter out all of the other modules and only show the hide my app list module. So we can tap that, select releases, then tap on assets, and then you'll get this prompt telling you the latest version of the Hide My App List module. And we can tap this APK file to download and install it on our device. After that has been installed, we now need to go into the Modules tab. Then tap on the Hide My App List module that appears in the list. And for you, this enable module toggle will be disabled since that module has just been installed. You're going to need to tap this toggle to enable it. Make sure the system framework scope is enabled, which it should be by default. And then you're going to need to bring up the power menu and restart your smartphone or tablet to actually activate this module properly. When your phone boots back up, I recommend opening up the LS Posed Manager application, tapping on the Hide My App List module again, and making sure that it is indeed enabled with that toggle. Now you should look for the Hide My App List application icon which will either be on your home screen or somewhere in the app drawer. So let's go ahead and open it up. And now we're going to tap on the app manage option on this main page. From here, we want to search for and find the Google Play Store application, which we can use this search box right here to filter out. However, if you're still not able to see it, you may need to tap on the three dot menu icon right there and enable the show system apps option. Then after you find the Google Play Store application, tap it and then you need to activate the enable hide toggle that I have previously done on this phone. Once the Enable Hide toggle has been activated, 
let's go ahead and create a template for the hide my apps module to use. So let's go back to this main page, tap on the template manage option, and then we're going to create a new blacklist template. We'll name this template block updates, but you can name it anything that you want. It's just better to name it something that resembles what this blacklist is for. Now we're going to tap on the edit list button next to the applied to section. And you should see the Google Play Store that we have previously enabled. Once that has been selected, when we go back, we should see that it has been applied to that one application. Then we can tap on the edit list button for the apps to be invisible to. And we should get a list of all of our apps installed. When we go back to the Google Play Store, you can see that we have five different apps waiting to be updated. And in today's demonstration, we're going to hide the Nova Launcher and Google Maps from the Google Play Store. So from here, let's search for Nova and select it. Then we're going to search for Maps and we're going to select it. Now you should see that we have two apps invisible for this template both Google Maps and Nova Launcher. We go back to our template manage page. We can see the block updates template has been set up to be applied to one app, which is the Google Play Store, and for two apps to be invisible to the Google Play Store. It's even a good idea to go back to our app manage page select the Google Play Store and make sure that in the template config section that it is set up for the block updates template that we just created. You should see that it is using one template now. The way to trigger the Google Play Store to actually refresh the apps to be updated page can be a bit tricky. I have seen some people say that a simple reboot should be enough, but in my testing, this worked sometimes and didn't work other times. So I have found that deleting the cache and the storage for the Google Play Store is ideal before rebooting. We can do this by long pressing on the Google Play Store application icon and then tapping the small I that appears in the pop-up. From here, we're going to select storage and we're going to clear the cache as well as clear the data for the Google Play Store. With that done, we are now going to restart our smartphone or tablet to complete this setup. If you remember, we had five applications waiting to be updated before we did all of this. And then we set up our template for the Google Play Store to block two applications so that these two applications are now going to be hidden from the Google Play Store. So this means that when the phone boots back up, and we go into the Google Play Store. Let's tap on our profile up here and then select the My Apps and Games section. This is going to bring us to the Updates page, which as we can see, now no longer has five apps waiting to be updated. We now only have two because we set those other two apps to be hidden. So the Play Store shouldn't even be able to see that we have Nova Launcher 
and Google Maps installed on this device. And that is why these two apps are no longer in the updates page. We can now safely tap the update all button right here and know that all of the apps and games that we added to be blocked by the Google Play Store will not be updated in the background and it will not be updated if we manually tell the phone to update all of our apps. Again, this is a feature that I have seen requested many times over the years in various Android discussion forums. The only alternative to this that I have been made aware of was to manually edit the application file and then re-sign it with a new key. This would result in the keys for that APK file not matching with what has been updated by the developer to the Google Play Store, and it would block the update from being installed. I find using LS Posed and the Hide My App List module to be, to be much easier to set up and a cleaner alternative since you don't have the Google Play Store constantly trying and failing to update the app. Let me know if you ran into any issues during this setup. I noticed that sometimes it took a couple of reboots before the Google Play Store would stop seeing the apps that were added to the blacklist template. But once that had been set up and the old data from the Google Play Store had been cleared, then it should continue to work as intended.